Welcome back to Wisconsin. I am back, a little ahead of schedule for Hutchinson, Minnesota, tractor show, the Orange Spectacular 2023. We are going to bring the 612 down. We've been doing a few things to get it all ready. Uh, we, we just went through and put a new seal on the gas sediment bowl here. I think we pretty much got that sealed up good. We clean the air cleaner until we get the new one made. Uh, we're doing just a lot of little things. We got uh, some sealant on this hood bolt here. We hadn't done that after we had all the new stuff painted because uh, that bolt goes into the gas tank. So we had to have some gas proof sealant to seal that bolt up. Here and there we changed some bolts for the steering box. Got that done. We're gonna Fill all the grease cups up so we can be ready for the show. Oil all the pivot points, all that kind of maintenance stuff. We had to get the 2035 out to uh, get it out. We got them all out yesterday. We dug stuff out of the bar and repositioned stuff because the 612 was buried in the corner here. So we had the 2035 out. That hadn't ran since last September and three cranks and it started right up. So that's always good. I uh, ran that around for a couple minutes and put that back away and we put the 612 over here so we can get it out today. Like I said, we're going to load it up on the gooseneck and uh, we'll be heading down to Hutchinson tomorrow, Thursday. So we can have it there Thursday night so it's there first thing for the show to start Friday morning. Uh, I'd say, you know, everybody come and see, but <laughs> you won't see this video until it's all said and done. So if I've seen you there, it was nice to see you. If not, maybe next year. Oh, I know what else we did. Well, Dad did previously before I got back to town. Um, we put new pinion roller pins and bearing uh, bushings in here because we wore out the ones last year. Uh, the ones I put in there when we restored the tractor, we didn't, didn't have them uh, hardened. And we learned our lesson that they need to be. I'll show you the wore out ones here. Cause they were completely roached completely wore out both the rollers and the pins so lessons learned there but we had a our good friend gary agibson made us up some new parts big thank you to gary for doing that for us uh, i can't possibly thank you enough so that's awesome so dad got those installed like i said before i got home here So that's that's good next winter's project will probably be you know there's a little bit of play in these wheels the hubs to the spindles uh, not enough where i was worried about it when i restored it but now that we've actually run it a little bit and we've actually been doing field demos and whatnot with it uh, we'll probably take that apart and look at what's all involved in putting some new bushings in the wheels and then potentially uh, getting some new segment gears made up as well. Not that these ones are horrible, but if we continue to keep using this tractor as intended, like I plan to do, because this isn't just a parade queen, that uh, we'll probably have to replace those segment gears uh, eventually. We'll see how they hold up after this season and then uh, kind of decide from there. But I'm kind of, in the back of my mind, I'm kind of thinking that that might be a winter project type of thing get some new ones made up and swap them out come springtime um let's see if i can find a spot here to set the camera and we'll see if this starts up again there you have it all ready to go once the set gas is on ignition is on Nut and gear, clutch, throttle, everything's good to go here. Magneto impulse is tripped. Let's see if it starts. Almost. It's always cold blooded. Trip the 
it doesn't want to cooperate. good starting attempt. What happened was we had cleaned the air cleaner and uh, had to play with the carburetor mixture a little bit. I suppose we're getting a little bit more uh, air in or whatever if the carburetor air filter was a little bit dirty. So Let's see if we can get it out the trailer here now. Oh, it's starting to be a fun day. So we're going to put the road bands on. Well, I won't give you all the details, but it was a Bit of a pain just the logistics of everything and then it started raining so now everything is muddy and we're wet <laughs> let's go back to the trailer now we got a little bit of sunshine hopefully maybe it's done raining for a little bit here oh the fun of getting ready for a tractor show 
raining again. Well, we got most everything we wanted to get done done. Hundred. Hopefully this storm passes. Anyway, today yeah, we got it into town. Got it washed up a little bit. Well, the rain, I guess, is washing it a little bit more. We got all the grease cups refilled. All the oil points oiled. I actually changed the engine oil. Probably didn't really quite need it yet, but oil is cheap, and I'd rather spend a little money on oil than wearing out engines, especially because this tractor doesn't have any oil filter or anything. Uh, what else did we do? I put a new cork in the carburetor. Um, there's a little port that the flipper opens up against and there should be a little cork in there to dampen the blow and we didn't have the right size cork before so I rounded up one of them and put that in. Uh, what else do we do? Just been putzing and cleaning and just getting everything tuned up and ready for the show. So we'll head out in the morning and drop the tractor off and hopefully the weather cooperates this weekend. And then uh, earlier this week, I guess I didn't tell you guys yet, uh, we went through and maintained the trailer too. Took off, we got, well we got all new tires put on because it was still the original tires on that trailer. And Dad had one blow bringing it into town, so it was time to put some new ones on I guess. And we took off all the hubs and checked out all the brakes. Cleaned out all the bearings, repacked them, uh, put new rubbers on the ends because those were all getting dried out and cracked. Cleaned up all the rims, actually painted all the hubs, just a bunch of overall maintenance. Greased all the jacks and everything. 